Okay, we are through with uh, 2019, and right away we're going into 2018. And let's see how far we can go today on um, 2018. So straight into action, we will pick the piece of paper and see what we can do. Now, in 2018, I just noticed the pattern. I don't know that it's done deliberately. I don't know this an interesting pattern. They seem to be moving towards more of commercial arithmetic. Commercial arithmetic. So for those of us who are preparing for YA, I don't think it's a mistake. 2018, commercial arithmetic. 2019, if you look at 2019, look at 2019, let me just check that to be sure that um, my argument is in place. If you look at 2019, um, come, come one minute, please. Look at 2019 to the same direction, proportion. So let's be very, very careful because uh, we seem to be very interested in this. Uh, commercial aspect and the numerical aspect of maths. Reason may be because students are not doing very well in this uh, area. Right, so the first one says, the first question there says, a used car was purchased at 900,000. And let me add at this point, when you pick a question, be patient enough to read the question too. Don't read the answer, no. Read the question the first time. After reading the first time, then try to read and be taking out the information as you perceive them. So I will make that right to me. A used car was purchased at 900,000. Its value depreciates by 30% in the first year. For thought. In each subsequent year, the depreciation of 20% of its value at the beginning of that year. If the car was bought on 1st March 2011, Calculate correct to the nearest hundred naira the value of the car on 28 February 2015. How many years is that? How many years will that be? 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015. So we're looking at close to four years of the position. I see that close to what? Four years of depreciation. Now, take note of presence of depreciation. The car will depreciate on its previous value. The car will depreciate on its previous value. What that means is that at the end of, let's say at the end of this first year, if you have a new value, the depreciation will work on the new value. That value at the end of the year, that's one. Another important note here is that the depreciation of the first year is 30 percent, and after that, um, it now became what 22 percent. I hope you understand that. So these are the key things you must take into consideration while solving this uh, question. Right. So we go straight away. Now, uh, uh, cost. Or we can call it, they say purchase, they use here purchase uh, price. Uh, I can use initial price, initial value. Now, the next one, so depreciation. So depreciation of first year will be equal to what? 30 over 100 times what? 300,000 over one. So that would be what? Sorry. At the end of the first year, you're going to have the depreciation of the words. You're going to increase the value by the words. 19. Did I get that right? So the guy is 900,000. I'm sorry about that. So that's 900. By the end of the first year, it would have been depreciated to by 200,000. So with that stated, the uh, new price, you see, there is a balance here. Um, I cannot say new value. 
is equal to what? 900,000 minus 270,000. And I'll give me uh, 630,000. Eh? Yeah. So that will be value at the end of the first year. So for second year, so second year depreciation of second year, depreciation of second year, what would that be? That would be equal to uh, 22 percent. Remember that from second year it's now going to 22 percent times uh, what's the new value that 63 730,000 over one. So that will give me, um, I can do my mental mathematics. If you have a calculator there, you can punch for me, you can take a punch and send a chart to me, you can give me that figure. Else, I'm going to use my uh, old school approach, which will be 126, 126. So that will give me, um, Zero, so that will give me 138 uh, two zeros. I'm right to that. That will give me 13,000. No? What, what, what am I missing? Okay, 86. I'm sorry about that. 8600. That's that. So it means that new value. Would be equal to what? Six three zero 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 minus one three eight six zero zero. And that will give me zero zero four one nine and uh, that will be four. So that will be so that will be the new value four hundred and nineteen thousand four hundred nineteen thousand four hundred. So that will be the new value. So the position. Of third year, the decision of third year will be equal to what? Uh, 22 over 100 times uh, 491400 over 1. Now, at this point, you need a calculator. No matter how machine like your brain is, you need a calculator. So this will go, this will go, this will go, this will go. But I can still try to be a little stubborn. I will have 9828. Huh? Times eleven nine eight two eight. Right, so that will give me um, eight zero one eight uh, one zero. So that will be a hundred and eight thousand one hundred and eight. One hundred and eight thousand one hundred and eight. Now I got that right. I got that. So new value. So new value. The new value be equal to 491400 minus 108108. What does that give you? 292. Uh, this will give me 3. This will give me 8. And this will give me 2. So that will be 200. And then, is that 2 or 3? That will give me 3. Sorry about that. So my new value will be 393,292. Right, so the position of fourth year, remember by the end of the fourth year, will now be what? 22 over 100 times 383292 divided by 1. So what and I will not bother to divide by 100, but from here, I can get this. I can still be stubborn. If I multiply by 2, I'm going to get uh, 4, 8, 5. I'm going to get 6, I'm going to get 6, I'm going to get uh, 7. I can write like that. Divided by 100. Um, okay, no, not divide by 100 yet. So, this value will now be what? 766584. That will be 4, uh, 2, that will give me uh, 4, that will give me 2, that will give me 3, that will give me uh, 4, and that will give me 8. So that will be what? 54,000, 34,000, 34,000. Right? 
So I think I got that. Yes, lovely, 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 lovely. You see, you can see that even without a calculator, you can still do it. Sometimes you really see some purpose. So new value will not be put to what? Uh, 383293 uh, All right, we we'll continue. All right, so new value will be this minus eight four three two four point two four, and that will be six. That will be seven point. That will be um, seven. That will be six, that will be nine, that will be eight, and that will be nine, that will be two, nine, eight, nine, six, seven, point seven, six. First of all, I made a mistake. So if I do that, it the the pardon me, it's error this way, using the thing. Right, now if you're talking to calculate the nearest, 100 naira. That is where they will wait for you. Because I said calculate to the nearest 100 naira. To the nearest what? 100 naira. So that would be what? 499,000 would be the answer. So that's what would be to the nearest. When they ask for this approximation, it means there is one. There's one mark attached to this, at least one mark attached to that answer. All right, so that's that for question one. So let's go to question two. Let's go to question two. Question two says that A, so this one is for eight marks. So, uh, mathematically, for question one, every of those nuggets will be like 52 marks. Question two says the graph of y equal to 20x squared minus p squared x. Minus 14 passes to the point 3, 10. 3, 10 means the variation in x and what y. So our advice to deal with that is so now get an equation in terms of p. Get the equation in terms of p. So we have y put 10, we have x put 3. So that will be 10 equal to 2 p into 3 squared minus p squared into 3 minus 14. What does that mean? I will write this. This is all before that 10 will be equal to what? 18 p squared. 18 p rather minus 3 p squared minus 14, which will mean that what? 10 minus plus 3 p squared minus 18 p plus 14 is equal to 0. So 3p squared minus 18p plus 24 is equal to 0. What's going to be? Something can divide 2. What can divide 2? 3 can divide 2. So you have p squared minus 6p plus 8 is equal to 0. Right? So that takes care of that. Okay, so but that's not the end though, because what we tell to find the values of p. So you discover that you have you are now to deal with a simultaneous rather a quadratic equation. So look at that p squared minus six p plus eight is equal to zero. So what do you have? The product 
is plus. So sum of factors is equal to minus six. The total of factors, how do we get that by applying this with this? And that will be eight e squared. So both factors, whether be both negative or both positive. Now the test, the combination of the test is this answer we have that negative. So we think both factors will both be what? Negative. So we try e squared minus 2p minus uh, 4p plus 8 is equal to 0. This can this will be this, this can this will be this. So that will be 3 into p minus 2 minus 4 into p minus 2 equal to 0. Meaning that p minus 2 into p minus 4 will be equal to 0. p will then be equal to 2 or uh, what? 4. So that is the solution to that question. If that one, the answer will be p equal to 2 or minus or what? 4. p equal to 2 or 4. Right? So if we've we gotten that, we can now go ahead to solve question um, 12 and 2b. Question 2b. Question 2b. Question 2b. And question 2b. Question 2b, we have this. Okay, now we have that 3y minus 2x is equal to 21. And we have that 4y plus 5 is equal to 5. 4y plus 5x, I can get the right question because of the way the select sum is there. You can initially go to correct e stated. Now, this is the equation you have. So, what do you do? Now, we will eliminate the one that gives us the lowest LCM, and for me, it's x. So, I multiply it by 5. I multiply it by 2. I always tell students to use elimination method. It's the fastest. So this will give me 50y minus 10x equal to 105. And that will be 10, 20y minus rather plus 10x equal to 10. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You add. And that will give me, by adding, that will give me 35y equal to 115. 35y equal to 100 and so you mean that y will be equal to 150 divided by 35, and that will be 23 over 7. I got that right. That will be 23 over 7. Okay, the next check, I think I have made a mistake. This is 8. I'm sorry about that. I made a mistake. I think that's all the things that are happening when you solve in an exam setting. This is 4 times 2, and I multiply it with 5. So that's the correct answer. Let's correct that 23. Now, understand, let me give you one trick when you're solving wire questions. One other trick that can help you. Now, remember that more often than not, your present wire exams are set in the mindset that you should not use the calculator. Tell me the simultaneous situations. So, Take note of that. So if you, if you make a mistake, you can check how I do my work well. Right. So y will now be that 105 over 28, which will give me 5. So with that set I will now put y equal to 5 in what? 3y minus 2x equal to 21. So what is y? y is 5. So 3 times 5. Minus 2x equals to 21. Meaning that 2x will be equal to, or let's give this 15 minus 2x will be equal to 21. 15 minus 21 will be equal to 2x. 2x will be equal to minus 6, and x will be equal to what? Minus 6 divided by 3 is negative 3. So x will now be what? Negative 3. I will solve that. We have done what? We have solved that. So that's for question 2. So let me give us some time to catch our breaks. In question 3a, the diagonals of a rhombus are 10 points. I think that this was a rhombus. 
the label is a figure that has all the sides equal. This is equal to this, equal to this, equal to this. But there's an interesting property of the rhombus you need to know. The diagonals bisect at right angle. And that's what they expect you to take note of it. The diagonals bisect each other at right, at right angle. So let's say this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. Now I can say diagonal. AC is equal to what? 10.2 cm and diagonal. Let me call what they need at T, center for the T and diagonal. BD will be what? 9.3 cm. Hmm? So, because of this property, AT will be equal to what? AT will be equal to 10 will be equal to AC divided by 2. AT is AC divided by 2. And that will be 10.2 divided by 2. And that will be what? 5.1 CM. Hmm? A. Now, what is the So then B D will be equal to sorry B T will be equal to B D over two and that will be nine point three divided by two, which will be four point six five C M. Hmm? Okay, so with that set to this will now give us um, so considering uh, right angle triangle, right angle triangle A to B, A to B. We are going to have that A T squared plus uh, BT squared will be equal to what? AB squared. So AB squared will be equal to what? 5.1 squared plus 4.65 squared. What does that give you? AB will now be the square root of whatever you get. So point your cap and then I don't know, I think it should be 2, 6, 6, 0, 1. I used to do some of these things doing this, but uh, the guy's interesting thing about uh, uh, this. But you we'll just add it up and then um, see what happens when you do your maths. Your AB will be equal to, they are saying AB is what? 6.9. So comparing that the answer, comparing that answer will suffice. I've forgotten that. Perimeter will be equal to four times six point nine, and that will give you what? Uh, Twenty-seven point um, six. I don't about twenty-seven point six cm. Now, is it correct to guess what the smart is in that set? Setting that I don't have a calculator, but I have ensured that I have not violated any process. So maybe I should have one line here that says what. If you allow to use a calculator, you can just come to calculator at this point to get your answer. Right? That takes care of question 3A. What about 3B? What about 3B? In question 3B, I told that course. I see the same pattern. I think it was the last year we saw the same pattern. We are told that sign x is equal to 3 over 4 
where x is an acute angle, find 5 plus x minus 4 times x. So it's just to draw a right angle triangle. I see the pattern. Two years now, this same question has come out. So if it's one question, you don't want to play it. Now this will be x. This will be 3. 3 over 5. Sorry about that. That's 3 over 5. 3 over 5. And let's call it a y. Mm -hmm. So uh, by Pythagoras, using notation as in diagram, using notations as a diagram by Pythagoras, comma, we will have that 3 squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared. 9 plus y squared is equal to 25. Y squared is equal to 25 minus 9. And y squared is equal to 16. Y will be the square root of 16, which will now be 4. So y is equal to 4. So from this, tan x will be equal to what? Y over 3, 3 over y, which will be 3 over 4. And cos x will be equal to what? 3 over e, y over 5. Y over 5, which is equal to 4 over 5. Now, remember that what we are told to look for, what are we told to look for? We are told to look for, we are told to look for, um, 5 cos x minus 4 times x. That's what we are told to look for. 5 cos x minus 4 times x. So what would that answer be? This will now be 5 into 4 over 5 minus 4 into what? 3 over 4. I see how cheap these questions are. That will be 4 minus 3, and that's how it's 1. I see it. Very cheap exam. So, I'm going to encourage you that this exam is not as difficult as it used to be. If you want to get an A, you can get an A. And the reason why I'm taking things to solve is that I'm not just solving, I want to show you patterns. I told I, I told you I teach that this exam is very predictable. You can predict and put your money in it and be sure that that person will come. You are seeing now two years. Same pattern. I see it, same pattern. So I'll leave us with this one. I'll trust that uh, we will go. I'm sending you the video now. Let me send to you. Let me send to WhatsApp and to Zoom so that we can start processing it. So that at the end of the class, you'll be able to start uh, listening to them at once. What's happening now?